on the street, we watch it, boom, wow, boom, supercharge your motor, spin up, pass, fall, I don't care what it costs, I let that band talk. What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. Get up. Time to get to work. Rise and grind. Let's get to it. On the way to R&D, picking up the Chevy. About to bring the Sammy so they can start doing this frame off. Getting that car together. Got to bring the motor to the motor shop. Running through the motor. Carl picking up the trans. He's going to run through the trans. We're going through everything. We're going to freshen up everything. Make sure everything ready for this year. I'm on y'all ass all summer. I'm laying built to all ass this summer. I don't want to hear no excuses for everybody that been talking about racing, especially y'all up here in Chicago, Kool-Aid, Sugar Man. It's a few other dudes. I don't even want to name some of y'all. Y'all don't even deserve y'all name being on here. And if, if y'all that scared of the streets, don't worry. I got my show at the track at 41, May 25th, all gas, no brakes. So if you scared of the streets, bring your scary ass on up to the track. My late belt to your ass up there. So ain't no excuses this summer. I don't wanna hear none of that crime, that bullshit, our own race on the streets. Not, we don't wanna hear that bullshit, man. Bring your ass up there to the show. May 25th, all gas, no brakes. My out of town people in Atlanta, they say they coming. It's a lot of people that's supposed to be coming, man. So that's love, man. It's gonna be a good show. We're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be a lot of racing. We're gonna get it in. No, no woofing, no talking. Either gonna line it up and shut it up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, outside of that, though, man, got a lot of running around to do this week, man. I gotta go right now, bring the motor to the motor shop. I gotta come back to R&D, grab the Chevy, go to Sammy's. They gonna start taking the car off the frame. And then tomorrow, I gotta go up there to PC, bring the lid to the supercharger up there, the wheel wells, and a few other things so he can match the paint up going in all the way, man. Redoing everything on the car, freshening everything up, making sure it's 100% ready for this summer and really forever because it's been a while since I put the car together. It's probably been about eight years, nine years now since I started putting the car together. So it's time to go over everything, freshen up because I drive my car. So we're going to go over everything, freshen up, make sure it's ready. Ready for the streets, ready for the tracks, ready for all the big shows, with my way show, Rick Ross show, all that. All the we, we we going all that, man. We turning up this summer. And anybody want smoke, we can line it up. But yeah, man, let's get up here. Let's get the day started. Let's get it going. Get y'all ass up, man. Time to get to work. Just made it up here to R and D. Y'all gonna see it all dirty like this, man. Look at this shit. All oh, dirty as hell. This from this from years and years of riding and shit. Power steering lines busting and breaking and everything, man. It's the last time y'all gonna see it like this. I was polished up, clean my headers back up, probably get them Cerakoted again. Go get this lid painted. Got my gas tank all dirty. We're gonna clean that up, polish that up. Trans right there. Gonna circle deep converters, all my shit. A few moments later.
One hour later. Load it up on the way to Sammy's. Ain't nothing in here, butt ass naked. Once again, pulling up on Sammy's. Gonna drop off the Chevy. Don't hurry up and get it in the garage, man. Got my car here getting all dirty like this, man. A few moments later. So we up here. They already doing this Malibu. Complete frame off they already did, mini tub. Frame brace. Firewall delete, vintage AC. They got a dump they working on over there. Nine inch lip, tucked up under there. I don't know what size tire that is. I think it's a 305. Nice tire. There, so putting that, making the brackets for the vintage AC, putting it in. Sammy's a dog, man. Yep. Start, start busting it down. Feel better now, my car up here. I don't feel so sad about it. Took apart and all, bust down naked. Shit, dirty as hell up under here. I got a mad scientist, Junior. Just brought it in. They already getting started on it. I ain't wasting no time. Wasting no time, man. Got the motor took apart. About to bring it to the machine shop. Get it honed out, cleaned up. See, we was burning oil. Especially back here. Got the heads took out. These are the nastiest heads you could get. Billet, LME built heads, LME bottom in. It looked crusty, but that's because I've been driving and shit been leaking out of it. Get everything polished up, cleaned up. Machine shop gonna run through the heads, the motor. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're the fucking charger and yeah, the same got, got the cam out over here. Whole motor took apart. Cam right here. Getting everything ran through. Everything fresh enough for the summertime. We're gonna be ready. Got my gas tank sitting down over there. Yep. Glad the motor ain't really hurt. Just got to get it honed out. I don't know if y'all can see the cylinder walls. Got light little little grooves on it, so I'm gonna get it get it honed and 
Got new rings on it. Everything cleaned up, freshened up. Gonna be back ready. <clears throat> These heads right here. These $7,000 heads, man. Expensive as hell. Bought them in, bought another 13. Damn, it's like my whole car in the trunk looking rough. Look like a junkyard motor right now. It's all dirty. Heads all dirty, but we on the way. Pulling up to the motor shop. Gonna drop this shit off. Come on, man. Y'all all in the way, man. Get on up out the way, man. Let's see what's going on. Yes, sir. All right. Well, next time it'll be brand new when it gets up here. Had to stop up here by Carl, man. High performance transmissions. Got to pick up my trans mount. A few moments later. All right. Had to pick up the trans mount. Got to fabricate to make it a little wider, man. Because every time we got to take the transmission out the car, got to take the tail housing off the damn trans. Shit irritate. Even though the trans don't come out that much. It comes out enough to where, like, it's just irritating, man. Should just be able to take it on and off. Wisconsin race car is the one who braced my frame and made my trans mount. And when they made it, they made it too tight. So Sammy's going to fix that. That way we ain't got to worry about that shit no more. Because it's definitely a headache. Got a car running through the trans just to make sure it's good. Everything been good. It been holding up, but I definitely been beating on it. Overly beating on it. So I just want to make sure it's ready so I could just beat on it some more. And beat on some people with it. You know, so now we gotta go back to R and forgot the damn gas tank. Gotta get that polished up. So we're going back to them and then we headed to Sammy's to drop off some of this shit. Why'd you let me forget my gas tank? It's your fault. <laughs> Stuff this in the back of the suburban real fast. Yeah. Figure it out. Let me open this damn garage door. A few moments later. Man. It smells like straight gas in here now, man. I'm about to be high as hell off fume. Ride with the window down. What the? Go back to Sammy's now. Drop off this damn trans mount. And that should be it for the day. I done drove everywhere. I'm all driving all day. I still gotta go to Milwaukee, man. Bring some more shit up there, but it's all good. It's gonna be the fastest frame off y'all ever seen, boy. Stop playing with them. One hour later. Got auto enhancement pros, man. Finna drop off these pulleys. Get them all polished up. Yo. Alright, got everything dropped off up here. Alex gonna get me together. You gonna get you right, boy. Gonna polish up all the pulleys, clean them. Polish them, get them ready to put back on the motor. We're gonna hand polish all of this. Yeah. It's gonna come out great. Yeah. If you're on the Chicago land area, you need some details now, hit them up. One day later. What up, what up, y'all? Day two on the way to Sammy's. They just got the body back from sandblasting. About to go see how that turned out. Some of the uh, suspension parts I already got sandblasted and powder coated. Gonna see how that turned out. I think they getting ready to take the body off the frame today so they can uh, get ready to send the frame up there, get that sandblasted and powder coated. So we finna go up there, check on that. Gotta drop some money guns off, man. Couple dollars off, gotta drop it off, man, for the 
start paying for these this labor and material and shit like that. So I'm gonna go up here, take care of this business, check on it, see how it's turning out, man. I'm gonna show y'all in a few minutes. But y'all know I'm finna stop and get this coffee. Y'all know I'm a hype for the coffee. If I'm finna do that real quick, I'll be on the way. Just got it back from the undercarriage getting sandblasted down to the bare metal. We ain't do the frame yet. Still gotta take the body off the frame. Just got the undercarriage did first. Got a whole bullshit rear end in there just to move it around while I was up there. Yeah. Well, no rust under here, just a whole bunch of dirty shit from over the years from driving the car. I'm glad they even got up in the little cracks and crevices. I see this bare metal. I don't even want to touch it. All solid. Want no rust. So now we got to take the body off the frame. Get the frame sandblasted, powder coated. Going to touch a few things up on it. Frame was already been braced for years now, so. Got some of the stuff back from powder coating. That blue came out nice. Got the trailing arms did. Y'all see that color? Yeah, man. Nice blue color. Did the spindles black. Coil over springs, the same color blue. Rackets for the coilovers on the rear end, the same blue. Let's see if we can get a little better in the light. Yeah, y'all see it. I like this color. It's a real nice color, man. Frame is going to be real nice. The whole frame getting did. Same color blue. The control arms up front. Coilover springs up front. The whole entire frame. Rear end going back black like the spindles. <clears throat> Still got to take the uh, the front control arms off. It's all crusty, now and dirty from the sandblasting, but these going blue, springs going blue. We get new coilovers for the front because one of the bushings on this side, bad up top, it ate the bushing. So getting all these sandblasted, powder coated the same blue, springs blue. We might do this week, the sleeve, we're gonna do billy on the new ones. The rest of that shit black. But yeah, man. It's moving along fast. Y'all know Sammy's tires don't fuck around. You see, they did this whole car frame off. It's been only a month now, and they almost, they almost done. You see the new body bushings. Look at that up under here, man. Y'all gotta see this. Like this the, this the after. Everything cleaned up and painted. Like, see how this trans mount is? It's wider. We about to open mine up, make it a little wider on mine too, cause mine, a matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Mine too close. So when we take the trans out every time, we gotta take the, the tail housing off the transmission. That shit irritating. We won't have to do that no more once we get in, but see, this give y'all an idea how it look after everything cleaned up and painted. You know, like right now, mine looking rough because it just came back from sandblasting, but man, it's looking good. Look at it up under here, man. See, he got his stuff black. Mine gonna be that blue, but look how clean that look up under there, man. This car gonna be a super nice ass car. Brand new. Brand new 2024 Malibu when they get done. After Sammy's done, it's getting painted. Then interior. <laughs> Big lip, man. It's a super nice build, man. Look at that. See them, them brand new. Uh, let me see, man. Let me get the other phone out so I can put the light on. Y'all see that? Y'all can see better with the light. Yeah, 
I'll get the idea. See how his control arms is? That's basically how mine coming. Once it's, once it's done, man. It's definitely a nasty build. See, mine look all crusty and ugly right now. Look at it. Remember that. This is the before. We're going to show you the after soon. Ooh, look how crusty. It looks even worse now after they sandblasted. They got that shit all over. Look at that shit just. All that crust all over. Oh, well, yeah. See, it's down to the bare metal. No rust. Old, old body bushes. Y'all see, it wasn't no rust up under here. Just was a whole bunch of crud and shit from throughout the years. So everything, the undercarriage ready. Now we just gotta take the body off the frame so we can send the frame out. Get the frame sandblasted, powder coated. Yeah, it's some nice blue though, man. This blue gonna look real good on that frame and the suspension. Yeah, I'll get the idea, get the picture. It's definitely finna be nasty. Nasty. Chevy gonna be a 2031 Landau. It's moving along, man. I'm feeling, feeling good, man. I'm feeling happy about it. It's gonna be nasty. It, it don't make me feel so bad about having to spend the money on it. Yep. A few moments later. Oh, yeah, we're going to let them know what time it is. On my mama's, hey, the real King said, wake your stupid ass up. This bitch, this motherfucker's so crusty right now. It's all good, though. It's got them old rollers on it just to move it around. Taking everything out, wheel wells, all that. It's over, bro. Yeah, man, that... That color so nasty. That shit looks so good. Frame on shit, man. Frame on shit. Man, you know it. Frame on shit. All you broke ass niggas ain't got that frame on money. Oh, man. Don't make them mad one time. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Busting this bitch down all the way. Woo, look how dirty it is. Man, that shit crusty, man. All this shit finna be brand new. Yes, sir. Up here getting the frame together before we send it off to sandblast, powder coating. Had to redo some of the stuff we ain't like. That was done years ago. Redid the front frame knot. Right now the frame look all dirty from when they had sandblasted the undercarriage. It got all dirty and crusty from sitting outside. And that's what this is, some of the sandblasting from when they did the undercarriage. Doing some shit out there. I already redid the frame knot in the front on this side. Y'all can see it right there. Yeah, so. 
That's how it was. It's a new side. Gonna have 100% full turn now. Cleaning this shit up. Box that off for the headers. Gonna clean that up, box it off. A lot of this shit gonna get redid. All this shit was done seven, eight years ago. Got the front all already fixed up. Boxed in for the header. Had to move that in slightly for the header. Got that done. Look good. I see how this side is now. Have a complete 100% turn. We notched it before, but it wasn't all the way 100%. This side was slightly notched. You can tell this one ain't been done yet, but you can see where the tire was rubbing. So this side gonna get completely notched too. Gonna be no more rubbing. No more rub. When I'm trying to do a full U-turn. One day later. Wake up, wake up. Get y'all ass up. Good morning, goddammit. Oh, y'all probably can't see back there. Let me see. Hold on. Nope. That ain't work. But yeah, man. On the way to PC. Got the lid to the supercharger. The, uh, the new core support. The new wheel wells. Got to bring that up there to him so he can go on here and get them painted to match the car. So we on the way to Milwaukee early in the morning. Y'all already know I'm stopping to get that coffee right now. Plus, we're going to check on the vert, see what he got going on with the vert, man. See where he at with it. Yeah. Once again, once again, pulling up to the paint guy, PC. Look, I, I'm so thirsty to get my stuff done. I'm, I'm up here before them, goddamn it, shit. They probably like this dude, too thirsty. A few moments later. Got the vert almost ready for paint. <laughs> got to got to block it down one more time, prime it again, block it, seal it. And then we'll be getting painted up. Look at them body lines. Oh, look at it. Yeah. We getting there, man. Them body lines, man. See, now since I want to do extra shit to the chef, you know, I'm slowing the process down. He said, he said, which one you want? <laughs> I said, I want both. He said, no, nah, that ain't happening. <laughs> the body lines on now. Yeah, we getting that though, man. Got the core support and we just took it off of the Yeah, because it's just water, right? Like nah, it's antifreeze. It was antifreeze in it, yeah. So I just cleaned it up. He about to paint the lid to the supercharger. Top of the wheel wheel. Yeah, yeah, it should be straight. Yeah, just degrease it. Core support. I gotta take all this off. Cleaning up the wells on the frame knots. Opened up the trans mount wider. Hit them 
spots up top where they couldn't get when the body was on there. Little touch up, man, on the well. We off the powder coat and the sandblast, sandblast and powder coat, rather. I said it backwards. Everything nice now. Went over everything. We good to go. It's Friday, so Monday or Tuesday, probably Tuesday. Frame will be ready to get picked up. We'll go back on the car, man. I can't wait to see how this shit turn out. Man, this shit finna look good. Loading it up. Look, Junior trying to act like he know how to do tow trucks. I taught him. Out the sandblast and powder coating. Yes, sir. A few moments later. Just walked up here to Sam. He's got some old stuff back from powder coating. Got the rear end, did that back black. Sway bar, went with the same color as the frame. Oh yeah, that shit look good. Motor mounts, other little random brackets for different stuff, all that got powder coated. Yeah, man, go in the back, check out what's going on. Go one of the lower control arms too. Y'all can see. Yes, sir. Got the undercarriage. Undercarriage all painted up. All painted. Looking good. Looking good, man. Looking like a brand new car. 2087 Landau. They got the bottom wet like this motherfucker got some candy black paint on it or something. Frame on the way back right now from the powder coating. Junior ain't no professional driver. in the light a little better. There you go. See that color. One day later. What up, what up? Early morning, man. Loaded up. On the way to PC. 
gonna drop this joint off. Get up there, pick up my, my of course, pour my wheel wheels for PC. And the lid to my supercharger. I'm trying to get up there and get back fast, man. I had got some news back from the motor shop yesterday about my motor. So, <clears throat> it's a little more problems with the motor than what I expected, man. The, uh, I need new pistons. The pistons a little beat up because when the other supercharger went bad, it messed up the pistons. Uh, the heads, got to do a little work to the heads. They need new guys. Nothing major. Main thing is really the pistons. So, motor shop said it's going to be about four to six weeks. Some more, some more money. It is what it is, man. I'm just glad I found out all that now while it's still early in the year before the summer hit. That way, this in the summertime, I'll be ready. Should have no problems this summer. Everything getting touched, ran through. So, we're gonna be ready, man. So, I ain't really tripping too much. I'm gonna spend some more money more than what I expected, but that's usually how this car shit go one thing and then it's another. It's like you start doing something, then you gotta do something else. Then that make you gotta do something else. That's just how this shit go, man. Now, all y'all done built cars, y'all know how it go. So, it is what it is, man. I'm just glad I found out now. We getting this shit done now. Sammy's moving fast. Frame off finna be done real quick, so it's all good. I'm trying to keep it moving along, man. Hopefully ain't no traffic on the way up here to PC, man. I'm ready to try to get up here as fast as I can. Once again, pulling up on motherfucking PC. Pulling up on PC. Got the Chevelle up here, finna drop that off. Yes, sir. Pete over there doing his work on that Chevelle. Touching his paint up. Got the lid painted. Yeah, got the painted. It's looking good, man. It's going to be nice. Yeah. Look good. Yes, yeah, sir. Got, the, got my inner wheel wells painted. Back freshen up. Got the core support painting. That did. Looking good. Touching up the Chevelle, man. <clears throat> it's actually a, a decent little color here, man. Oh, yeah, it's been working. Got the bird sitting here collecting dust right now. He got the he got the back block down now. Y'all can tell the difference. Well, at least I can tell. Y'all sure. Man, we out of here, leaving PC, loaded up, got the core support wrapped, got my wheel wells wrapped, my supercharger lid over there, got some extra paint for my car, just in case I need to touch some shit up, ready to roll, goddammit. 
Man, I hope it ain't no damn traffic on the way back. That shit was horrible on the way here. Pissed me off, man. Let's see what's going on. I'm about to hit this motherfucking road. Made it back. Made it back. Pull up this, um, drop this shit off. Check on this frame. See how it's looking, y'all better watch out. Hit y'all. Let's see, man, where we gonna park at? A few moments later Back on the frame Back on there. Gotta put the bolts in the body mounts. That black, that should look good. I like. Just made it up here to Sammy's, dropping off this G body support. Coming to pick up outrageous Chevy, man. Get ready to bring it back to R&D so we can put the smaller pulley on the supercharger, finish tuning the car. Sammy's done with their job. Complete frame off. Brake, suspension, mini tub, nine inch lip. Another car Sammy did in and out real fast. They did a floor pan and everything. You're looking good. Rigs tank. Gonna load them up on the tow truck. A few moments later. Get ready to put the bumpers back on. The new core support. Got one of the, the new inner wheel wells back on. So I'm powder coat of black underneath. New bolts.
I remember Jason used to be talking that frame off shit years ago, man. Rubbing on his bumpers, showing all his bolts changed. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta definitely gotta pay homage, man, to the to the old man Jason, man. He definitely changed the game years ago with that shit. It was motivation for me. I was locked up then, looking at magazines, thinking about when I get out, I was gonna build me another land out. I had a land out when I got locked up. And of course, people, you know, my car was gone when I came home. So, that's when I started building this one again, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even know who Jason was back then. His car was in the magazine when he was building the ZL1 Landau, and I was looking at it. That was motivation back then, man. Being locked up, sitting in that cell, looking at that car, seeing how technology had advanced. Because when I had left shit, we was riding 383 small blocks and 406 strokers, shit like that. So definitely gotta, gotta uh, pay homage, man, to the to the OG at this. One day later. What up, what up, y'all? On the way to pick the Chevy up for Sammy's. Everything done. I was supposed to pick it up yesterday, but pick it up today, it's Saturday. Little odds and, and, and ends. Little, little shit, man. Like some little boats and other shit they had to finish up. But it's done, it's done. So now we just waiting on the motor to come back from the motor shop, slap it back in there. We'll be back outside. Tearing the streets down. Yeah, yeah, man. Shit came out super good, man. Looked real nice. The color came out better than what I thought it would be for the frame. Definitely happy with the shit. Still don't know how much my bill gonna be. We're gonna find out. Everybody talking about that 150K shit. It ain't no 150K. We know that. It ain't, it ain't that much. My car was pretty much done already, anyways, though, but. So, well, shit, we're gonna find out here in a second. Up here picking the car up. Back down on the frame. Waiting for the motor shop. Once the motor shop done with the motor, put the motor back in. Sammy's man got me in and out. Gotta put my little trim back on. Right now. He's 28 on the whip like a silly fan. Bitch, I'm the man. Bitch, I'm the man. Got the hardest box Chevy in the fucking land. Bitch, I'm the man. Bitch, I'm the man.